for our friends across the streets of Johor, here is our response to the national dish of Singapore, chili crab. Malaysian style. Good afternoon, foodies. We are at a suburban residential area called Taman Merga, some 13 plus kilometers away from the city center of Kuala Lumpur. We are here for a legendary 50 year old seafood restaurant that specializes in crab, or more specifically, chili crab. Guys, remember this thing over here? I don't know if you guys have it in your country, but this is basically the pole that signifies that there's a bubble shop right here. It's such a rare find nowadays, and this is so unique. It's so different from the traditional red, blue, and white that we used to see. That's quite a number of accolades for a place that only specializes in crab. Impressive. Hey guys, we're now in the restaurant and we're just seated. I think we're a little early. It's only about 4.30 right now, but this is an interesting thing. There are already patrons in the restaurant. And because we are early, um, they actually have these side stalls over here. Uh, I believe one of them sells chicken wing and the other one sells uh, satay. So they are not open yet. They only open about 5.30. So we're gonna wait. Yeah, I gotta try those out too since we're here anyway, right? Alright guys, while we are waiting for them to set up, let us address the elephant in the room. Where did chilli crab come from? Based on our awesome Google searching skills, chilli crab has been invented by Madam Che Yam Tian in Singapore in the mid-1950s, where she added chilli sauce into her stir-fried crabs instead of the usual tomato sauce. I know, I know. At this point in time, I'm sure the Singaporean friends are all screaming and shouting and saying, See, I told you it's invented by Singapore, right? For me personally though, it doesn't matter where chili crab comes from. The key point is it's a delicious dish and I think everyone loves it. Singaporeans and Malaysians alike. Alright guys, they are all set up. Let's order some chicken wings and satay. Okay guys, so we've just placed our order for our chili crab and while we are waiting, let's start with the satay. So we got over here the chicken satay and the beef satay, so I think we should start with maybe the chicken. So the way to eat satay is definitely absolutely to dip it into the peanut sauce. Now let's give it a full coating. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Let's go. It's okay. Not the best, but it's okay. Not the most tender, a little bit dry. I guess it's acceptable. <laughs> As for the peanut sauce, pretty normal. You could taste the peanut flavor, a little bit of spiciness. And yeah, and sweetness. I think it's okay. Next up, the beef. Oh no. Baby chewy. Baby chewy. Slightly more tender than the chicken, but very chewy. I think it's, it's a little bit rubbery. So again, it's susceptible, not the best. But don't worry guys, it's just a side dish. The main character has yet to come. Let's move on to the chicken wings. Oh, Yeah, you can smell the fragrance of the deep fried chicken wings. They give you some chilli sauce, but let's not dip it in first. Let's try it as it is. Crispy spin, moderately tender flesh, not bad. The taste of savouriness, the marinade is pretty well balanced. Pretty decent chicken wing. So let's dip it into the chili sauce. Spicy chicken. 
sauce. The chili sauce is moderately spicy, mainly sweet, but I don't think it really helps the chicken wing that much. I think it's okay, you can go with or without. With the side kicks out of the way, let us move on to the main stuff. Okay guys, so the main characters are here. When you are at a fatty crab restaurant, what you would normally order is their chili crab, which they call sweet and sour crab, but it's basically spicy, sweet and sour, so it's still chili crab. And their fried rice. So I just can't explain how amazing this plate of chili crab is, because you could just smell all the spicy notes of the dish as it arrives at your table. And the colour is very different from the typical chili crab that you know, you know that reddish colour? This is more brownish and it's got a very nice earthy colour tone to it and I really quite like this. And you can actually see that the sauce even though it's drenched over the crab, you can still see the beautiful uniform colour of the shell of the crab right here. It's like they've been going to a spa or something. Anyway, let us start with the fried rice. This is very similar to Yangzhou Zawa. It has more or less the same ingredients. We just replaced uh, the green peas with long beans. So let me very quickly get some of this rice into my bowl. There we go, a taste of the rice. Mm. You can actually taste a little bit of the wok on the rice here. And then you taste some of those savouriness, a bit of the egginess, and the vegetables, they do provide a refreshing crunch too. Mm. It's a decent fried rice, for sure. Very decent. But guys, that's not the main function of this fried rice. It has its uses later. So let's move on to the beautiful crab. In order for you to battle this chili crab, you'll be equipped with two weapons of your choice. You will have... UNIO! And a nutcracker. Mm. Okay, I'm so excited I forgot guys. We're supposed to taste a bit of the sauce first before we start with the crab. Oh look at this sauce. Beautiful brown with a little bit of that nice redness in it. There's garlic, chili flakes and I think some onion as well. Oh. Oh. Mmm. My god. That sauce. So flavorful. Moderately sweet and sour with a very nice spicy kick at the end that tickles your entire tongue. This sauce is so 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 good. I can't wait to eat the crab now. Okay, I got a free pass because Claire has been peeling the crab shell off. So I got this. We don't need to peel it. So just take a look at this flash, my god! It is so beautiful and so nice looking. Jesus! It looks almost like it's super tender and super juicy. Oh, you can smell that seafoodiness. No way! So juicy, so tender. It's like the more I bite in, the meat just peels off. So flaky too, and you could taste that natural seafoodiness of the crab. My God, this is awesome! Let's very quickly dip it into the sauce. That's a light protein will do. Here we go. Amazing. Sweet and sour, spicy, savory, crabby. This crab is so fresh. Any fresher, you will be swimming. Oh. Alright, on to the body of the crab. This is actually my favorite part because this part, the body of the crab here, is the most tender. You have the sauce. Mm. Look at how flaky and tender the flesh is. It's like this crab has been living the high life up until the moment it went into the pot. My goodness, juicy, beautiful white flesh. Just look at this. Wow. And that sauce. I cannot stress enough how important this sauce is. Do not be deceived by how watery it looks. It really packs a punch. All that flavor is in this sauce. You just need a little bit of it on the crab and it elevates it to insane levels. Remember that fried rice is back into the show, right here. I'm gonna put the sauce onto the rice. All over the rice. Mm. Mix it up a little. Nice.
No way. Well, we just got there, that magical moment there. The rice is like Cinderella. Cinderella is pretty, right? But she hasn't gotten that makeover yet. But with that sauce, Cinderella just met Fairy Godmother. Awesome, awesome flavor combination. All the flavors, the spiciness, the sweet and sour, the savoriness, the slightly walk here of the rice, it just explodes in your mouth. Mm. A bit of a break from crab here. They also serve toasted bread that goes with the chili sauce. Let's quickly try this out. In goes the bread, dip it into that nice chili crab sauce right here. Okay, not enough. Gonna need to use the spoon. Carry it up. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. A little crispy, pretty toasty, but to be honest, it's just a very plain Jane bread and it's merely used as a vehicle to go into this sauce because that sauce is what makes everything great here and this sauce is what's about to make the bread great again mm. Mm. I'm sorry no. this sauce is awesome a film of guys I know the polite way westerners eat this crab leg is to have a roller roll out the crab flash right but over here in Malaysia this is what we do use your teeth done don't judge me guys crab eating is a very messy affair okay. so we're gonna mop this up First Quad is practically celebrating right here. She has been busy filming me, which is why I have two hands. So I'm gonna see you guys for plenty time. Bye. Oh wait. <laughs> it's not working. Bye. <laughs> Cleaning time! Restaurant Freddy Crab dishes are some amazing, amazing chili crab. The crabs are ridiculously fresh, tender, has a sweet flash, and they are fried rice. Wow! Fresh ingredients, individually grained rice, and flavor! Simple, yet so tasty! The secret of Freddy Crab definitely lies in the gravy. No doubt. The gravy. Sweet, sour, savory, spicy. Tickles your tongue. Wow, it's like it's got a meters touch. Anything it touches turns to gold. So whatever you have, bread, rice, or even I don't know, satay and chicken wings, just dip it into the sauce and you will turn amazing instantaneously. As for the side dishes, I think the satay and the chicken wings they are okay. But if you have a small appetite, I think you can pass on those. Also, one of the interesting things that I find about this restaurant is that you see many different races actually patronizing them. It's really, really rare and yet goes to show how amazing their chili crab really is. And with that, restaurant Freddy Crab scores a half a plate on the gourmet plate, which means it is really, really, really some high quality culinary right there. Well done, Freddy Crab. That concludes our review for this particular establishment. If you liked our food adventures, don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell button till we eat again next week bye bye